Hi, I'm Ashley Mazurek, and I'm here to talk about doctor movement on this Czech blog. In the series in which I have been speaking, we've talked a lot about breathing and conscious breathing, which is also known as diaphragmatic breathing, which is also known as soft belly breathing, which is also known as um, proper breathing. And today we're going to talk about stability and function in the body, which is very important to have if you want to be healthy and strong and stable, but the impetus to that is proper breathing. So let me introduce Howard to you. Howard is going to be my subject and he's going to help us understand a little bit about the transverse abdominis, which is a function of creating stability in our lumbopelvic region. Okay, so Let's talk about the transverse abdominis and where it originates in the body so you have a, a little bit of um, history. The transverse abdominis muscle runs, obviously, transversely around the body, starts at the xiphoid process, and it comes down and around to the posterior of the body, and it also attaches at the pelvis, all the way down to the pelvis, into the thoracolumbar fascia, indirectly to the spinous process and runs as low as the pubic symphysis. So it is the deepest of the four layer of abdominal musculature in the body. And the transverse abdominis does a lot of things, but most importantly, it creates extension and stability through the lumbar. And so I use my little pelvis here. One of the things that's most important to know about this transverse abdominis is it also creates form closure, which is a compression of the ilium on the sacrum. And then once the body goes into movement, then it creates a force closure and allows that to happen and stabilize the SI region. So what we need to do in order to have that stability for posture and then through movements in the body, we need to be breathing right. So when you inhale on forced exhalation, if you look in an anatomy book, it'll say forced exhalation operates the transverse abdominis. So what we want to do is we want to lay safely in a position where um, if you've got any problems with activating this, the most safest position is in the supine position. And what I'd like you to do is first and foremost, take an inhale with a big belly breath and then exhale. Now, let's feel this transverse abdominis. So take your right hand and I want you to find this little ASIS right here, this little bony process on each side of the pelvis within your own body. And what I'm gonna ask you to do is follow and fall off the ledge of that ASIS and go one inch in and one inch down. So immediately an inferior. That is where I want you to put your two fingers and I want you to feel for activation of your transverse abdominis. Now, it's not a, a big noticeable difference, but you'll feel tissue rise up into your fingers if you have a proper functional transverse abdominis. Now, we're going to use breath to create that for us. So what I'd like you to do, and you can do this on yourself in a seated position, but like I said, safest is in the supine. That way you don't have joints locked up and breathing is much more easily accessible in the supine position. So you'll take an inhale through the nose. And if you think about when you swallow where the tongue goes, it goes directly behind the two front teeth on the roof of your mouth. Now, keep your tongue there. What I want you to do after the inhalation is exhale with pursed lips, with the tongue in that position, and force the exhale. So I always give the analogy of telling a client to pretend like 
they're blowing out candles on the ceiling so that they know that that's quite a distance and really make a forced ex exhalation. So inhale, a strong exhalation. Now, if that's done, just like I've illustrated just now, you should feel the transverse abdominis come up into your two fingers with a little tonus to the muscle. Inhale and exhale. As you exhale, feel the muscle. Now, that's the muscle that you are to use, that gets used every time you try, every time you go into a movement pattern, it is used to stabilize your lumbopelvic region. Okay, so our time is limited here. What I'd like you to do in wrapping up this segment is I want you to continue breathing diaphragmatically, expanding the breath, focusing on positive intention, and doing that as many times as you can throughout the day, and then checking in every now and then to see if you're still in the proper breathing pattern. We showed you the transverse abdominis. Now, practice that at night or during the day and feeling that muscle activate itself. And in our next segment, we're gonna go a little bit more into this and I'm going to actually give you a um, exercise variable to use to strengthen this muscle. Because this muscle, as you'll learn in the next segment, is very important for people who have been in pain or people who have not had the proper mechanism for breathing diaphragmatically. So thanks for viewing and we'll see you next time.